Hey, Nomadic Fanatic, Eric here. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about boondocking and RV security. Um, I actually made a video about this about a month ago, and then I decided to not upload it because I thought that it gave away too much personal information. And, you know, since I'm making videos to the public out there, to people I don't know, I feel like I don't want to reveal a whole lot of specifics because every once in a while the wrong type of person may try and take advantage of you if you give a whole lot of specifics. So I'm going to be really generic in this video, but there are some really important stuff that I think I can share with you that might make you, that might help you to be more safe when you're out in the road as well. So the first thing you might want to consider is to actually have a loaded gun in your RV with you at all times. Another thing you may want to have is an alarm system installed on your RV. Um, RV alarm systems, if you get them done by just like a place like Car Toys or Best Buy, they are probably only going to involve the front two doors. Except if you go to Home Depot and go down their aisle where their security is at, they have all sorts of do-it-yourself alarm systems. The ones that I recommend are the Doberman versions, where you can actually apply them to multiple windows and doors throughout your RV, and you can then wire those directly into your battery that is inside your livable space so that even if someone were to pop your trunk and be able to unhook the battery that's under your trunk that would not disengage your alarm system because you have it wired inside so i highly recommend that to have for both reasons while you're in the rv and while you're away from the rv another important thing about security is when you're boondocking for the most part try to keep your blinds closed I have the blinds open right now for, for light, and I'm in a parking lot, a very busy parking lot, so I'm not really too concerned about it right now. But if at all possible, definitely try to keep your blinds closed and not advertise any of your stuff. And then when you do go into stores, like restaurants, McDonald's, or any other Walmart stores, uh, don't park way off in the middle of nowhere where it's dark. Park up close where there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of traffic. Uh, if there's cameras, try to park in front of those cameras for extra security. I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but you kind of want to get this good mix of residential and commercial areas. In other words, like you don't want to be all residential because then when the sun goes down, there's not going to be anything else going on. The streets are going to get really dark and there's just people living there and nobody else is really monitoring those, those neighborhoods or those side streets. Whereas in a commercial place, especially one that's open real late or something that's open 24 hours, there's that opportunity that there's always going to be traffic, there's always going to be customers, and there's always going to be someone walking around. So even if you had to step inside real quick and you know go to the store or something like that, if something bad were to happen, your alarms start going off in your RV, well, it's going to notify other people around you. If you're out in the middle of nowhere or you're in some neighborhood where people don't care and those alarms go off, then the chances of people caring aren't, aren't as good. Those are just some safety tips. If anybody else has any other ideas or suggestions uh, to anybody else who might watch this video, please add those to the comments below and I'd love to hear from you guys.